a week in the life of a music education and violin performance double major. Year three out of five at the Chicago College of Performing Arts. A week in my life. Hello and welcome to this weekly vlog of a week in a life of a music education violin performance double major. Um, so we're starting off with Sunday, obviously. I'm kind of not really focusing on details, just generally what I do every day throughout the week. Um, so today, it's starting with going to church. Um, so I go to church in Chicago, even though I'm home on the weekends to teach. So I get this beautiful morning drive on Lakeshore, which is awesome. Um, usually I get there just a little bit earlier, and I'm going to read a little bit of this, and then just enjoy the Mass. But that's Sunday morning. And the week-long journey begins. The church was fun. I'm on uh, 294 right now. So usually I don't teach on Sundays, but I got asked to substitute teach for this um, SYSO group that I'm going to start teaching in October. So I'm just subbing for one of the other workers. I'm basically doing private cello lessons, private violin lessons, and then a group class for beginners. And after that, I'm basically going to be going like straight back to school because I have an online student tonight. I have one online student every Sunday evening. Um, but right now I'm on this very frighteningly uncomfortable 294 Expressway. So. Just got home, as in back to my apartment at school. Um, and I literally teach in like 20 minutes. <laughs> So my teaching space is set up. I hate having a student on Sunday night, but literally with this with this guy, he's a senior in high school, so he's busy and it was the only time like we could work out. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and so I'm doing it. I'm very hungry. Oh my God, no, I literally have like 15 minutes. Uh, I need to go take the trash out and then go teach. This is what my Sunday dinner kind of looks like because I teach so soon. I don't have time to eat a complete meal. So I, put some mashed potatoes on here. That's Erlenia's music playing, by the way, but dinner. Going to the D-string and use a little faster bow speed. Okay. See if that helps. Monday. I love Mondays. Um, so it's, I basically woke up at like five, but usually I get up at like six. Um, and on the schedule for today is 8 a.m. of course, conducting, um, then math, <laughs> um, then another composer class I sit in on. And after that, I just have like half an hour before I have an improv lesson because I helped out with a class so this professor is offering me a free improv lesson. I've never had one before so I do that then I get a little break then we have chamber rehearsal and sometimes usually we have studio classes on Monday nights but I don't think we're doing studio class yet so I might have the evening off. We will find out. Midday update. So I finished my classes this morning, three classes, um, and then I finished my improv lesson too. And I just got back and I ate something really quick. And now I'm getting ready for our chamber orchestra rehearsal. We start performances this week. Um, I think we're supposed to perform either Wednesday or Thursday. So I'm working on memorizing my speech and I'm dressing in the pants I'm gonna wear for the concert and then just a nice color top because our group after rehearsal is gonna be taking pictures today um, somewhere out in the beautiful city of Chicago. <laughs> and I, I think we're gonna do it by the fountain. We could go to the Bean, but that's a further walk and I really don't wanna go super far. So I think we should do the fountain. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna take pictures after 
And usually I have studio class on Monday evenings, but studio class still isn't starting yet. Um, because people need to like have music prepared and I guess like both of my teachers don't feel comfortable starting studio class yet and probably are still adjusting to their schedules too. So free night, it's not really a free night. It means I'm gonna do all the practicing and homework I still haven't gotten to today. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, okay. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday. This Tuesday is not very normal. Um, last night after the McDonald's run, I, I didn't sleep that great the night before, so I just like crashed and I was out. Um, but I got up this morning and I showered. You should shower at night and I'm gonna get the day started. Um, I don't have an 8 a.m., but I do have my piano lesson at 8.55 and then math at 9.30. And then I kind of have a little bit of a break. Sometimes I have uh, lessons on Tuesdays, but they're once every two weeks, and this happens to be an off day. So, uh, and then I, yeah, I have chamber rehearsal, and I have one student online this evening. So, a little bit of a lighter day, so I'm gonna try to spend most of my day getting all my assignments turned in and practicing since I didn't really get to do that yesterday. just about to head out and go to chamber rehearsal. This is our last rehearsal before our concert on Thursday because tomorrow we're going to see the other groups perform and on Thursday we perform. Um, and then after that, as soon as I come back, literally, I go straight to online teaching. Because of the concerts tomorrow and Thursday evening, I had to move some students around and so I'm teaching two students tonight. Um, I have one six to seven and one seven thirty to eight thirty. like you're hiding in your square. So I want open. See how my arms straighten? Welcome to Wednesday. So we are halfway through the week. Um, I usually have conducting on Wednesdays, but now it's every two weeks you go in person to take an exam. So I actually don't have class today. I already submitted my video, so I'm good for the week. Um, after that is math, then the analysis class and then uh, music at lab this class is like just for music educators we meet um music education majors we meet um once a week and then after that we do not have chamber rehearsal because this week's a little bit different we start concerts so we're going to a hotel in chicago so i have a little bit of time actually after music at lab um and then i'm leaving around like 4 20 ish uh to go with one of my friends to this hotel i'm not performing today so i just sit and listen Tomorrow is when I perform. So, and then after that, I don't have students tonight because it's supposed to go to like 7.30. Wednesday update. I haven't recorded like anything from any of my classes today because it was just so chaotic. Wednesdays are always the craziest. Even though now um, I only have an 8 a.m. on Wednesdays every other week, it's still really crazy, right? Because I just have so many classes, which means less time to do work, which also means more work. <laughs> so it's complicated. Um, but you know, I did a lot of work this morning. I was like tired out. And I went to my math class, um, did more work. <laughs> Then uh, analysis class, which was a little bit more relaxing. It was more of a discussion. Um, and then my music at lab class. And then I was just like, oh. so I came back to my room. I ate, I just relaxed. And now I've been checking emails. Um, I'm starting to teach a string group class, uh, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. So I'm reaching out to my current private students and we're changing lesson times to accommodate for that. Um, <laughs> and so reaching out to students and parents and like, just, it's crazy. And, um, I do leave in like 40 minutes um, to go to the museum hotel, I believe it's called in Chicago. Again, I'm not performing tonight. I'm just watching my fellow friends perform. Uh, but starting tomorrow, I will be performing. So exciting. But now I just get to relax. 
Uh, this concert goes from 5.30 to 7, then I'm coming back. I don't have students tonight because I had to move them around this week. Um, so then I have the rest of the night to hopefully do some more work because I do have a technique lesson tomorrow. Stay tuned for Thursday. <laughs> because I'm pretty like a flower. Like a flower. <laughs> Are you mocking me? No. <laughs> Back from the concert, Erlenia is listening to some fish jazz. She's loving it. Um, so the concert was really good. I learned a lot and it was actually good that I get to be on the second day because I was able to see what the stage was like. I kind of saw like how you use the microphone. So I think I'm much more prepared for tomorrow. My speech is memorized, good to go. I just practiced it in the shower twice. Um, so basically for the rest of the night, I'm gonna set out my clothes for tomorrow. I haven't shown much of what I do at my night routine generally. Um, my lunch is already made. I'm gonna set out some clothes and then try to, I have like two videos I need to listen to for my history class. They're both like an hour long. So I'm gonna listen to as much as I can cause I'm already getting really, really tired. Luckily it's only like 8.20 so there's still a good amount of time if I put it to good use. Happy Thursday. It's not that much of a happy Thursday though. I'm very tired, especially from the concert last night. Um, and I have a bit of a stomach ache, so that's not fun, bad IBS, so I guess it's kind of normal. Um, today, I do have a lesson this morning. It's a technique-based lesson. I have these every week for half an hour. And then I'm going to math, and then uh, vernacular music history. And then, yeah, I actually have some time, a good amount of time off, but I'm looking at, luckily I can, you know, do my lunch, do some practicing, maybe do some homework, um, and then get ready for the concert because tonight I'm giving a speech and playing with my chamber group. So stay tuned for that. Just practiced, warmed up, and now a quick snack before the lesson in 10 minutes. <laughs> Day, keeping it real. Um, I'm also a music student who has IBS and unfortunately I kind of knew it from this morning. Um, I was having really really bad stomach aches and pains and for the past like two hours that I was supposed to be doing my homework and practicing I have been laying down resting with the heating pad. Um, I'm very hungry. <laughs> I'm very nervous that this could happen during the concert, but I leave in an hour, so <laughs> join me as I try to perform in this concert after dealing with such a painful, like the pain is so extreme, such a painful thing. Um, we're just going to do our best and give the speech and play this piece and do the best I can. Joseph Haydn. Good amount. <laughs> so, Volcarini was actually nicknamed Haydn's wife because their music sounds so similar in the classical style. <laughs> it just dawned on me. <laughs> So Fridays are the most different day of the entire week. Um, so yesterday, you know, the concert actually went really well. Um, I just had like one flub in my speech and then a couple things in both the speech and performance I could do better, but I have two more performances on it next week. So then I reevaluate and work on that. Um, and then yeah, when I, we didn't get anything to eat last night, kind of just like went back. I showered and just like tried to rest because things get crazy, busy, you know, over the weekend. Um, so today, I go to school basically just as early. Um, I try to do like a good hour and a half of like practicing and work whenever I can. 
Then I come back to my room. I do a nice deep clean of everything. You'll get to see that little montage. <laughs> um, and then today, I do have a performance class at noon uh, that goes to 1.30, and then we have to watch a masterclass. The Pacifica Quartet is actually coming um, to give a masterclass, which is two hours. So then we're going to do that. <laughs> may have noticed I have a lot of assignments and things to do, emails to send, things to practice, assignments to turn in, craziness as a double major. So I have been using this for three years. This is my third year of using this now. And I put like all my assignments and stuff, things that I need to do daily go up here and then assignments I need to turn in go down here for the week. And so I'm going to be turning to the next page and what I do on my Friday mornings is that I go through my Blackboard page and I write down all the assignments I need to do for next week and get it like prepared so I generally have an idea of how much work I'm going to be doing the following week. We are legends, every day. in my history assignment. Um, another thing that I do usually on Sundays, but just because Sunday is actually going to be a bit of a busier day for me this coming Sunday, I'm going to do it now. Um, so this is my planner. This is what keeps me organized. And what I do, I mean, obviously there's a calendar and this has like just special like certain things I write down and I cross it off to keep track. But then there's also things like this, which show the days of the week. And I write down all my classes, my students, uh, performances like basically like every obligation I have to attend like during the day homework and stuff and eating you know I just do what I need um I don't write that down but that's kind of what I do and so uh let's see this is the last week of September so I already generally wrote out some things but I'm gonna write in all my classes and all the dates for the week so it's set to go when I come back on Sunday update so obviously I was just listening to um, a family vlog channel that I watch because it's nice and calming and I haven't been feeling the best um, but I'm kind of using the rest of this free time to do some work so I did um, a very very long 20 page reading um, and I wrote a um, paper so yay I'm glad I did that because this stuff was due Monday and I was done. So all my work that's supposed to be due Monday, like over this weekend too, is done, which I will admit is unusual. Usually there's so much work, I do not get it done before the weekend. I try, but usually I don't. So this weekend I can actually focus on practicing and teaching and going grocery shopping and doing laundry and going to church. Well, it's Saturday, Saturday morning. It's 10 o'clock right now. Um, I've been teaching usually like 9 a.m. in the mornings, but my students got pushed a little bit today, so I'm on my way to go teach. Um, but Saturday mornings are, you'd think weekends would be relaxing? No. Saturdays are so chaotic, which you're kind of going to see. This morning, obviously, I didn't put anything on, but it's all about like going through the mail that I missed like, when I wasn't here. You know, sending emails and stuff I need to do, um, just do a quick, like, little cleaning stuff in my camp hamster's cage, spending some time with my mom in the morning. Um, I review over lesson plans, like, for my students that I wrote the week before, uh, and print out any music that they may need, and I also, I'm playing in a wedding in, like, two weeks, and so I printed out the music, finally, because we're going to be rehearsing this week, and I need to put it in the binder still. Um, and just like generally taking care of myself <laughs> and like it's just it yeah I'm going to go teach also on the weekends I do grocery shopping I need to walk my grandma's dog give her a bath and just you know practice I'm pretty ahead in homework but maybe do a little bit of homework basically that's what's that's what's going on
Roxy's enjoying her walk. Um, I feel like I should add, in between the things that I'm filming, I do practice my instruments. <laughs> I do like little bits, you know, between the things that I do um, kind of throughout the day. So it's like short sessions, but I do practice. I just haven't really filmed it because that would be taken away from the time that I practiced. And we don't want to do that. So just letting you know. Wow, it's been a week. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video of a week in the life of a music education, violin performance, double major student, a violin teacher, <laughs> person, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, like I said, every single week is different. There's always something different every single week. Sometimes it's insane different stuff, like if we were in a concert week, like this coming week is gonna be. Other times it's just a couple random things. Um, but that's just a general week in the life video. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this gave a little bit of insight about the madness and the craziness that music students go through, because it's not all like, la 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 la, everything's easy, it's, oh no. <laughs> so that was also kind of my goal of this video, is to kind of show that, you know, it's, it's very hard, it's very demanding. We're not normal college students, we work like crazy 24 seven, so. Thank you.